yo what's good everybody hope y'all doing well man you already know what's going on today though we back at it again with that my hero academia season 5 baby yo but before i even talk about anything my hero academia related i got a very special announcement right now for everybody watching yo boy has partnered with the one and only gamer subs i know everybody in the world is very picky when it comes to stuff like energy drinks and whatnot you know people don't want to waste their time and money on stuff that they don't know if they'll like or not or they don't know if it's right for them so me and gamer subs teamed up right now we have a very special offer for everybody watching right now everybody right now has a chance to get free samples of various flavors of gamer subs it's super easy and simple everybody all you got to do is click the link down below in the description it'll take you to the gamer sub site once you're on the site make sure you add the samples product to your cart put in all your information and whatnot and once you're at checkout make sure you use code ivory to get everything totally for free i'm talking like you don't gotta pay for the product and you don't even gotta pay for the shipping or nothing so once you enter code ivory at checkout everybody everything's basically taken care of for you at that point but like i said everybody it is a limited time offer only so only the first 500 people will be able to get their free sample so it's basically first come first serve so if you want in right away make sure to click the link down below in the description once you got your samples in your cart use code ivory at checkout and you get everything totally for free and just to make sure you guys got it the first time yes i said for free so make sure you get on that while you can everybody by the way blue raz is one of my favorite flavors when you get your free sample make sure to let me know what your favorite flavor is as well but other than that everybody let's get back to that my hero academia so last episode we just finished round two of this class 1a versus class 1b arc unfortunately class 1b did take that dub but like honestly i can't really i can't really you know disrespect their win because honestly they were they won like fair and square bro they just had a better strategy than us you know they just outplayed us in basically every aspect so right now it is 1-1 so i believe the next match the episode by the way is literally just called match three just it's just literally just straight up match three so for the matchups for this round i believe we have todoroki and Ida's team and i believe we're up against tetsu i know tetsu's on the other team i believe so this is kind of you know the breaking point right now it's either we're gonna go down one two or we're gonna go up 2-1 obviously i hope we take the dub because you know i'm always rooting for class 1a i thought this was, was gonna be an easy sweep but you know class 1b they put up a fight but you know what i can always respect that you know one thing i can get to this arc like i said before it's giving everybody a chance to shine right now you know it's not just focusing on deku right now all the classmates you know everybody is getting their chance to show their stuff right now and i'm actually really really enjoying that part so yeah, everybody make sure to subscribe and hit that like button guys it's super easy it takes like one second of course you guys can always change your mind later also make sure to follow me on twitter if you haven't already but nonetheless let's get it i do know that like todoroki and Ida though their team seems pretty stacked but like i feel like we have a really high chance to win right now and obviously they gotta recap everything right now yep we took uh we took the first round shinso came through for us right now suyu kaminari they did their damn thing really enjoyed that round unfortunately yeah momo and the team you know tokoyami and everybody we couldn't pull through this girl literally grew a mushroom in our goddamn esophagus yeah like i said dude they kind of just outplayed this so hey it don't matter though because i i have faith todoroki and ida go ahead go ahead and clap tetsu's ass up right now please so this is episode seven i believe right now which is actually a little crazy dude it low-key feels like the my hero academia season is going by like extremely fast so if we're on episode seven right now midway point episode 12 13 obviously they're spending like two episodes per fight so obviously we're probably gonna see like the first half of this fight and then obviously know the winner in the next episode uh next week on saturday oh okay okay at least she's nice oh she's like offering him a cough drop and everything after you grew a goddamn mushroom in our throat i don't think a cough drop is gonna solve that bro damn really yo momo gotta be put in like the goddamn wheelchair or like the robot's gotta carry her for real i agree with that they said like yo the damage was a lot more devastating this time for real like yo they was really they was really out to get us damn so the devastation was that heavy so like with bro like we gotta change locations right now we gotta wait until this thing settles down of course monomer right now he got a gloat in our face he got a he got a flex in us because they he, they got our they got their win damn kendo karate chopped his ass bro honestly deserved though for real, this man deku has been writing in this goddamn notebook for like the, this whole arc sensei yo all might the goat 
he's been with all might recently bro like this what are you talking about like he's been with all might like since the very beginning since season one bro it hasn't just been recently god damn yo yo hold on uraka you getting embarrassed and everything you about to go ahead and kill mina real quick bro oh shit he's talking about the the one for all thing okay I've been waiting for this, dude. Like, this this part is really interesting. And he's gonna ask Gran Torino about it, too? Okay. Oh, shit. Yo. <laughs> I lost right now when Bakugo was about to fucking talk his shit right now. But, yo. Even All Might's, like, saying, like, yo, hey, be careful in, you know, in, in, in the last round, in the fifth round, dude. Because, yo, remember last time, Shinso, he's the one that awakened the vestiges of One for All when you had to, you know, with your first experience, dude. Damn, dude, I am, like, super interested in this, like, secrets of One for All, like, All Might not knowing exactly what what's happening with Midoriya's power right now, or I guess his power, too, and stuff like that. It's just, it's super interesting. I'm just really curious to just i just want to know more man i just want to get to that all right though bakugo what the hell do you got to say <laughs> okay okay yeah i mean that is kind of true oh shit oh he's actually telling him okay he said spontaneous activation yeah we gone hella stronger ever since we last fought i believe we only fought kachan when we were at eight percent full cowling we can go like 20 percent right now god <laughs> yeah uh this boy Bakugo never changes, bro. I wonder if he's gonna trigger it again then, you know? All right, it's time, bro. Time for the third matchup. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, like Tetsu. Yeah, dude, our team is stacked, bro. See, dude, even Deku agrees with me. Like, bro, we got a solid-ass team right now. Damn, so yo, even Mineta's like, yo, we got Todoroki, dude. Isn't this a free win? Nah, Tokoyami, it wasn't shameful. What the hell are you talking about, bro? Like, you damn near carried us to victory at the end. You gotta, you don't gotta beat yourself up over that. Damn, okay, Tokoyami kind of spin right now. He's like, yo, we gotta uphold, you know, the weight of our predecessors. Gotta, gotta show that prominence burn once again, dude. Toyo is close. Ooh, he had more firepower than me. But he had, ooh. You're the only one who can do this move. Is he talking about doing prominence burn? And that man Todoroki was, was out of it hold on this episode is L a this episode is super interesting right now i'm dude, flashing back to the stain arc right now okay yeah put that helmet on dude see ida's helmet is actually pretty dope midoriya i really hope that you know the, the the mask he gets in the movie he starts wearing that a little bit more this man tattoo's already wilding and the match hasn't even started yet for real bro like we 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 just need we need to keep the damage to a minimum dude you about to delay the game some more yeah so like i said tattoo i mean he can turn his body into seal he's essentially i mean they kind of like symbolize this that he's kind of basically another kirishima oh my god <laughs> <laughs> she is speaking goddamn English. <laughs> hey, dude, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep it real, dude. Their English is actually pretty good. We got that good old English going on right now. Okay, I feel you. All right, come on, guys. Yo, we gotta pull this dub together. I mean, right off the bat, it feels like, yo. I mean, I feel like we got our shit together way more than they do right now. I just gotta say that. The hell, this dude got the the all four roller skates going on. That looks so goofy, dude. I can't even take him seriously. Oh, Endeavor, okay. Ooh, oh, okay, okay. He's back in the field right now. So this isn't a flashback, he got the scar. Bro, get this goober out of here, dude. <laughs> like, Endeavor, we should have no problem with this man. There we go, Endeavor, just burn this boy. Look, look how fast the scrub gave up, dude. <laughs> Endeavor just had to, he, he just had to burn him up a little bit. Hey. Okay, Endeavor. Yo, like I said before, dude. I, hey, like I said before, man. I am rooting for my man Endeavor right now, bro. I want him to succeed. I want him to build back the reputation of the of of, of the community. You know, of, of you know all the people, the children, the families, and whatnot. I want him to fix his own family, bro. I want him. To, I want him to get his shit together. Yo, it's so. I don't know why. I get hyped when I see him being a hero it's it's so hype to see that like like kind of like the kids kind of acknowledging him like as a hero like he did save them you know i don't know that's really cool to see hey my man endeavor hey keep killing it bro endeavor looks kind of weird though in this child it kind of looks like he's like cgi a little bit damn this man todoroki is leaving this boy on a red damn this man ah bro <laughs> Damn, bro. Come on, Todoroki. Just, hey, you know, dude, just hey, hey, you can respond to him maybe a little bit, man. Just like a little. It could be a dry text message for fuck's sake, you know? This man, Todoroki, got a cold. That's kind of ironic. All right, Todoroki. 
You got this, brother. If anybody, I feel like Todoroki, he's gonna be the main character. Oh shit, that man's all right. yo, that man's already on the move. Man, freezing everybody. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay, that might be the thumbnail, low key. Damn, man, Ida is lurking. Okay. Oh, it's time. Time to get moving. It's time for the Keemstar speed. Oh, really, dude? So that's one of their quirks. You can see. This is the thing I was saying, bro. Like Class B, they on their like literal 50 billion IQ. 10 heads right now and this dude got drills and shit okay see shit yeah shit's already falling by the wayside right now Todoroki we gotta come in and use the fire dude okay Todoroki it's time bro okay okay yeah we're gonna have to make a move right now this girl's <laughs> this girl's voice is so funny dude I, I can't like she's she's speaking Japanese right now but for some reason it, it sounds broken still god damn okay See, see, like, bro, we're already taking L's right now. We got to turn this around quick. Oh, shit. He said, yo, I don't got that time limit anymore right now. Oh, okay, Ida, I feel you. Hey, you love to see it. Okay. He's literally just, like, crashing through the ice right now. Hey, this is kind of a little cute flashback. See, this is where he's getting his power from the anime flashbacks, bro. Some of the strongest power in existence. Uh. What? He's pulling out his mufflers. Uh, that man eat. Uh, ah! I don't know how I feel about that, bro. It's kind of. I mean, hey, it's to get more power, but it's low key kind of. Um, yeah, a little uncomfortable. That man is going overdrive right now. 10 minutes, okay? Hey, let's go, Ida. No fucking way it ends like that, bro. I was getting invested. Are you kidding me? This was a good episode, though. I'm not gonna lie. This was a really good episode. I felt like it kind of covered a little bit of everything. You know, we got a little bit. You know, it came back a little bit to the to the whole um uh, one for all thing. You know, with All Might and Deku talking to even bring Bakugo into the situation. I thought that was really interesting. Uh, this fight right now is really cool. You know, seeing Ida. Hopefully, Todoroki. Like I said, bro, you gotta pull out the fire. That's all I gotta say. Also, you know. You know going back a little bit to endeavor stuff and you know him still struggling right now with kind of talking to uh shoto and whatnot this was a solid episode all around super solid now of course we got to see that preview real quick turtle rookies left side burn burn your flames oh oh okay okay that's a do i can't wait for that next episode i don't know why the way the way Deku was commenting that shit, he said that grand finale, the the epic conclusion to the battle right now. Dude, that man was hyping that shit up. I am loving how straightforward these these titles are right now. It's, it's literally called Match 3, and then the next episode is called Match 3 Conclusion. All the previous episodes were like something kind of witty or something kind of, you know, like just like a certain word, but like this one is just... So straightforward. Oh, but yeah, everybody, I really enjoyed this episode. I was reading a couple comments here on Crunchyroll right now, and it seems like a lot of people are not, you know, they're not fucking, uh, they're not really fucking with like the pacing right now with everything or like the whole arc in general. They said it's like kind of like it, they're dragging it out. It's kind of like filler, low key, it's recap and whatnot. And honestly, I didn't really feel that for this episode. I, I was entertained. I mean, yeah, low key, it is kind of a little bit like, I feel like they could, you know, make each battle one episode to you know kind of fit in with the pacing one out but honestly hey it is what it is it's not like i'm like a director or like a producer or like a whatever whatever the book you know the people that you know manage the anime and shit like that so i really don't have any professional say in this but i'm gonna keep it real we're basically almost done with this arc you know we're almost to the half well we, actually we are at the halfway point right now i mean the next episode ends uh taroki and ida's match and we move on to Bakugo, spend two episodes with that. Excited to see Bakugo. And after that, we spend two episodes with Midoriya against Shinso. So, hey, that's hype to me, bro. So, everybody, make sure to leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this current MHA arc right now. Uh, let me know your opinions on this episode in particular. Like I said, dude, I really thought this episode just covered a lot of all-around bases. You know, like, I absolutely enjoyed the hell out of it. Also, make sure to subscribe, guys, and hit that like button. It's super easy. It takes, like, one second, of course, you guys, and I always change your mind later. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. But other than that, everybody, it's been your boy, Ivory, and I'm out. Peace.